section 6.3 orthogonal projection orthogonal projection of a point onto the lane is e equal to this one actually this one is projection of a vector on on a line or on a on another vector and to understand those ones watch the previous section 6.2 at the very end we explained the orthogonal projection of a vector y onto vector u. That vector y can be written as y hat, which is the projection plus z, and y hat is also a scalar of the vector u. And that scalar is calculated y dot product u dot product u. To understand this, please watch the end of the previous lecture for section 6.2. Today, we're going to deal with the projection not onto a line, but projection onto the plane. So orthogonal projection in Rn. So you have the plane or space W. We have the vector Y, and we are projecting it orthogonally, shining the light straight to the, to the plane onto the vector, right? So then the image or the shadow is going to be the Y hat, and we can think exactly the same as we did it for a line, except that this time we're projecting onto the plane. So the vector y is projected orthogonally onto space w. Then the y is equal to the projection y hat plus the z vector, which is perpendicular. We can solve for z. If I subtract y hat, I would have that z is equal y minus y hat. And y hat is the projection, can be expressed as a linear combination of vectors from the bases. So the vector w is the space spanned by some vectors. You can always express this y hat as the linear combination of vectors from the bases. And here we have the theorem, uh, call it orthogonal decomposition. So let W be the subspace, then each Y can be written unique, uniquely, means in only one way in the form of Y is equal to Y hat plus Z, where Y hat is in W, it's the projection, and Z is in orthogonal complement. Orthogonal complement compl contains all the vector, vectors that are orthogonal to the whole space. So the orthogonal complement would have all the vectors, would have all the vectors that are orthogonal. So all the vectors being orthogonal, going down, going up, all the vectors orthogonal. That's, that is the Y uh, orthogonal complement. So if, if U1 is any orthogonal basis of W, then this Y hat can be written as a linear combination of vectors from the basis. And if the basis is orthogonal, the weights gonna be calculated using the, using the scalars Y dot product, Y1, U2, and so on. And in that case, Z, is equal to y minus y hat. We can calculate z from this equation. And y hat is called orthogonal projection of y onto w and is denoted by y hat or projection y to the w. So those weights, if the, if the, if the vectors are orthogonal, then we have the projection. If you remember, it would be projection onto the plane it has pretty much the same scalars its projection so you can kind of think we can kind of think that what we are doing we are projecting onto the vectors that kind of span this we projecting onto this projecting projecting onto the other vectors and we write them as a linear combination because you, you can kind of think this way but maybe better would be thinking that this is linear combination of vectors from basis and basis is orthogonal. 
All right, so we have the example, verify that U1, U2 is an orthogonal set, and then, then find orthogonal projection onto this span. If you have a span orthogonal of orthogonal vectors, we know that orthogonal vectors are linearly independent. So if you have a span and linearly independent, you have a basis. So we simply gonna use the above formula. So first we're checking if the vectors are orthogonal. So we need to check the dot product. We take the vector u transpose u1 times vector negative one zero. So then we multiply that this is one times negative one is negative one plus one times one is one, zero times zero is zero, minus one plus one is zero. So indeed the vectors are orthogonal. Now the orthogonal projection is linear combination of vectors from the basis. So it's C1, U1, C2, U2, and the C1 is Y times U1, don't product U1, U1 dot product U1 times the vector. So this is the scalars, C1 and C2, which I'm first calculating on the bottom right here. So C1 is Y dot product U1, U1 dot product U1, so you take y dot product u1, and then you take u1 dot product u1, and perform the multiplication, and we getting the scalars 3 over 2 and 5 over 2. So if you have the scalars, now you put this into this formula. So you have 3 halves times vector, 3 halves times vector u1 plus five halves times vector u2 and perform the multiply each each coordinates right perform the calculation and we have this vector so this vector is y hat so it's orthogonal projection now we have example next example let's w be the, be the subspace spanned by use write y as the sum of vector of a vector in w and a vector orthogonal to w so first we're checking we have we information is only that it's span so we want to check it if the vectors are orthogonal u1 u2 so we check orthogonality indeed they are orthogonal so in that case to find the projection W is spanned by orthogonal vectors, so that's the basis. Spanned by use, write Y as the sum of a vector in W and a vector orthogonal to W. So this is projection. Just to understand this is like this. You, we have the space, the space W. We have W, we have the vector. This is the vector Y. So we, the question is, write y as the sum of a vector in w. So if I do the projection, if I project this vector right here orthogonally, this, this is the vector in w. So this is my y hat. So vector in w is the projection. And then the vector orthogonal, we can call it z. So this vector z is orthogonal to w. So if you want to do it as the sum, it's going to be y hat and z as the sum, that's my y. So what we are doing here is finding the projection, orthogonal projection. And that's exactly what we have right here. So y is equal to y hat plus z, that's right here. And y hat is a linear combination of the vectors from basis, what we have spanned by w, right? So C, since the U1 and U2 are orthogonal, we can use the orthogonal weights. So it's Y dot product U1, U1 dot product U1, and perform the calculation. Y is 135 and U is 132. And we multiply one times one, three times three, five times minus two. So this is here, perform the, calculation we get zero and then u2 
C2 performs the calculation, we get to three. So then we substitute the weights C1 and C2 right here. So we have C1 times U2, and then we have on the times two thirds U2 perform, and we have the vector. So this is the projection vector Y hat. And now we need to find the vector perpendicular to W, which is the vector Z. To find the vector Z, we use this formula, Y minus Y hat plus Z, subtract Y hat. So we have Z is equal to Y minus Y hat, and this is, this, this is equal to this. So this is the vector. So the question was, write the Y as the sum of vector from W, which is my projection, plus perpendicular vector, which is the Z vector. So Y is equal to Y hat plus Z, where Y hat is this, and Z is here, what we calculated. Move, moving on, moving on to properties of orthogonal projection. So if Y is in W, then the projection is the same vector, right? That should be straightforward. And then the best approximation, that should be straightforward. So we've been doing, so this is my W, right? This space is my W. Now, if you have the vector Y is right here and you're shining light straight down, doing projection onto this, then your projection and the vector are exactly the same. So that's what it says right here, right? Now, the best approximation of The best approximation of Y in Rn is the orthogonal projection in the sense that Y hat is the closest point in W to Y. So because orthogonal distance, perpendicular distance is always the closest, so this the best approximation orthogonal means perpendicular. When the set U forms an orthonormal basis, then the scalars even simplify more. Orthonormal basis means each length is one, so norm is one. We know that norm square is dot product, so if the length is one, the dot product of the same vector u1, u1 is one. And if that's the case, that means this part is gonna be one. So the weights simplify to just y dot product u1. So then we have the theorem if you have orthonormal basis, for the subspace, then the projection, you have only this, this scalar C1, C2 are only the top part because the norm length is one. And if you, if, you put the, if you put the vectors into the matrix, you can write the projection U, you transpose times Y, that's a different way of rewriting this, this projection instead of sum. All right, now we have the example. Let u be this vector, be an orthogonal basis for R4, write x as the sum of two vectors, one in span of the three and the other in span of the fourth vector. Because they are all orthogonal, you can, you can do it. So vector, this vector in span of u4 can be the scalar multiple of that vector u4. So scalar multiple can be nothing else but projection. So projection was x, I'm projecting, projecting vector x onto those. So I calculate the scalar x dot product u4. So here is the calculations of this and I'm getting this vector. So that's my projection. Now I need to, so to understand this, maybe let me do the drawing for you. So what we have here is like this we were doing the projection so that was my space right here w i call it can call it w or whatever we had the, the w space okay so now i have those three vectors are in that w so this is the three vectors what i have it right here this is my u1 u2 u3 and i have and i have a vector let me take different color so this is this is my y vector this is my y vector 
and I have the z vector right here. This is the z vector, but z is perpendicular and all the vectors, all the vectors are perpendicular. So my z vector, I can do it not, I can do it as u4. Here's my u4 vectors. And u2, u3 vectors are u1, u2, u3 are right here in the span of those vectors. So my projection, let me do projection kind of somewhere in the middle. This is my projection y hat. I can write as a linear combination of the u1, u2, u3 vectors. So what I am doing right here is, instead of projecting y onto the space, I'm projecting y onto the u4 vector, which is my z. So I'm doing the projection this way this time. I'm doing orthogonal projection this way. So I'm projecting vector y onto another vector u4 to do the projection is the scalar. So this is the formula of projecting. Now, I can write that y is my, the projection in that case, this vector plus this vector. But this vector is a linear combination of the u1, u2, u3. So here is my the original, oh, I didn't have y, I have x, I'm sorry. Let me correct the writing here. So this is my x vector x. So the vector x is equal to the z, which is my y4, u4, plus the linear combination of the vector u1, u2, u3. So here exactly what we have right here. The x is a linear combination of the vectors u1, u2, plus the vector z. So you can think this is the vector z, and this is my y hat, what you be keep calling the projection, right? This is my y hat, what we were doing. And this is, you can call it, this is what was my vector z. And in that case, if I saw, so I calculated that the z already have it because I use as a projection. So to find this vector, this linear combination, instead of calculating each scalar and projection, what I can do, I can subtract subtract the z minus this one. So I have x minus this whole stuff right here. And I can do, I calculated this calculation. I did this, I had this vector. This is the z vector, this is right here. So this, when I move it, everything moves the wrong way. So this, this vector, this vector is what I calculated right here, that projection. This linear combination would be from my span. That's what I need to find. But in order, in, instead of calculating all those weights, I can subtract because I had this vector and that vector, when I subtract this here, so I have x minus this vector, what I calculated minus this, should give me the linear combination of those. So I'm using the given vector x, this one was vector x given, and this vector I just calculated right here. When I subtract, I have this vector. So what is this vector is nothing else but my c1, c2. So this vector is in span of C1, C2, C3, because that's what we calculated as a linear combination, right? So this, my x is uh, this vector, the vector that I calculated and the vector that was given. This vector is in span of u, and this vector is in span of u1, u2, and u3. 